following screencast will provide a demonstration of Acknowledge's automated impedance cardiography DZDT classifier. To start with, you need to have a file with a, an impedance signal and then the first derivative, DZDT. I've got a file here that contains a DZDT waveform. We have a look, we can zoom in. This is a classic DZDT signal coming from the non-invasive cardiac output module, NICO, or Bionomatics NICO module, or the EBI 100C uh, electrical bioimpedance op, uh, module. And if I turn on a couple of other channels, I've also got ECG, and this is the Z signal, the raw impedance signal. We don't need these for this particular analysis, but just wanted to point those out and I'm going to hide the channels. So the first thing you need to do to run the analysis is come down into the analysis menu and locate the impedance cardiography option and there's a series of routines available. The one we're going to focus on is DZDT classifier. The first thing the software wants you to do is to identify the signal that we're going to analyze. And in this case it's channel 9 DZDT. And there are a number of preferences. This first one here is asking us to highlight a representative cycle of the DZDT data. So an entire single cycle has to be selected in order to use the template matching method. And there are a number of methods for detecting the individual DZDT cycles. The default one is using an adaptive template method and we'll get to those options in a little while. So here I've, I've highlighted one complete waveform. We've now got a couple of buttons available in the toolbar up above this option here is cycle is selected. I've selected that. Now the software has gone through and if we zoom in a little bit more. Labeled the different points of the component B, C, X, Y, O, etc. Now these points are used in the ICG analysis and basically the software will go through look at these different points in the complex and provide a series of measurements such as uh, stroke volume, cardiac output uh, and a number of other values, uh, pre-ejection period etc etc. If we go back in to the menu there's a, a preferences option which opens up this dialog. Now for most purposes and most data sets you can pretty well you leave the presets in their default positions but to start off with the first set of pre, uh, options relates to actually detecting each individual DZDT waveform and the default option is an adaptive template matching method but you can go all the way back to a fixed threshold. Now this method you know works well if the data is very stable and you know the signal isn't moving around a lot but in most instances there's usually a little bit of movement there's some respiratory component in there and in order to sort of overcome that, the, f the template matching, either the fixed or the adaptive, work a little better. The adaptive doesn't uh, is, is sort of ideal for this type of data because it's going to constantly change as the subject signal is changing. And for this adaptive option there are a number of sub um, options available. The average template window size, the number of matches that it's sort of looking at as it moves through the data, and then the matching, the percent match and the correlation match to the threshold. 
and beneath that you've then got some options for the method that's being used to identify different points in the data. So B point location, either the maximum second derivative, 100 to 150 milliseconds before the C, max third derivative, the first mean, again, the default usually works pretty well and you shouldn't really have to change these options unless um, the algorithm is unable to reliably mark the points in the complex. X point location, we're using the first turning point after the C, otherwise you can use the minimum DZ DT over the entire cycle. Um, stroke volume method, this comes into play when you're doing the full analysis and we're taking all the measurements. There are a number of uh, methods that are used for that. SRAMIC, Kubitschek, and then SRAMIC Bernstein. Default one is this SRAMIC Bernstein. DZDT method, a couple of options there. And then the units that are being used, either English or metric. Surface area method, if you're doing the surface area analysis options for that and then the ideal body weight method that's being used again the default being the metropolitan life tables. This final option down here this is um, allows you to turn on a scaled Fourier linear combiner this is very useful if the data is extremely noisy and the software is unable to identify the components within the DZDT signal. However, my recommendation is this is a, a last resort. You know, you really want to try and get good clean data before you start to do the analysis. But if for whatever reason you've got some noisy data, you can turn this option on and it's actually uh, a modeling type of tool that will go through and, and learn the waveform, um, but it's much better if you don't have to use that. The data that we're looking at today is in, you know, clean, there's not a lot of noise or movement artifact, and the signals were analyzed quite easily. But as we saw, just using the default settings, we're reliably able, you know, to, we're able to pick these out very reliably. Anyway, that concludes this demonstration of the Acknowledge Impedance Cardiography DZDT classifier.